Hi guys, White Witch 110 here with another installment of my grandfather's journal. I believe this is a photo of him and some of his friends, or the boys as he called them. Tomorrow is Remembrance Day, so please remember at 11 o'clock to take two minutes of time to remember those that haven't returned from the war. Now we're going to start on March 7th. I'm not sure if I did read that one yesterday or not, so that's okay. So, Wednesday, March 7th, up at 6.30 a.m. and kept busy fixing up, ready to move again by 8 a.m. Sure was kept going. We are now in a town about three or four miles from Estri. Can't read that. Have a good place for a billet after a lot of work in cleaning the place up. Not so much air holes as the other place. Weather good and cold with a strong cold wind. All is, J yes, I read this yesterday. All is Jake and we are good and comfortable in our new place. Thursday, March 8th. Snowed to beat the band all morning and we were out in it learning the plan we were out there learning the plan of attack to be pulled off in the afternoon we done station work on the same ground of the battle some some battleground has never been scarred has never been scarred yet or is not liable to be. The wealth, the weather was quite changeable but remains cold. Had a short walk at night. Grand, Grand Severance is the place, is the place we are billeted at now. Friday, March 9th. Battali <clears throat> Battalion parade at 8.45 a.m. Were inspected and given a lecture by Sir Robert Borden, Premier of Canada. Got back to our billet at 12.30 p.m. Had dinner and done nothing in the afternoon. Was down to the YMCA at night and saw some of a concert. Saturday, March 10th. Out in the morning, going over the scheme of attack. The afternoon we put in at trying to signal over the same ground. In the evening, I was down to the YMCA, but couldn't get near the place, so beat it back to our billet, weather not so very good. Sunday, March 11th. Had a good cleanup and wrote letters during the morning. In the afternoon, I was out to the tower. I was out to the town we left. Estri... Chanchi? Chan? Not sure and saw a lot of the 95th boys, and Hilly was one of them. Byers and Clark, Burgess maybe, and Clark, the latter I went to school with, also had a talk with Mr. Cummings, the old 95th scout officer. Had a clean haircut, 
after supper and am now writing letters for the evening. Monday, March 12th. Out maneuvering all day. The weather very miserable as it was raining. Rats were pretty lively during the night. Tuesday, March 13th. Done the same stunts as the day before. Weather a good deal better though. Not paid. Got paid about 6 p.m. and had some good eats. Wednesday, March 14th. The weather rather cool and damp. Done the same as every other day of the week. Wrote letters at night. Thursday, March 15th. Weather dull in the a.m., but very nice in the late afternoon and evening. Saw them bring down one of our big air balloons by the small cable, by the small cable on a motor truck. It takes a crew of about 50 or 60 men to handle them on the ground. March 16th, it was foggy in the morning, very nice after dinner, but got cold towards evening. Out doing some type of work in the morning, and the sixth, bit in the sixth, I can barely see that word, pulled off the, fa the frantic attack, practiced attack in the afternoon. An airplane helped out in the practice work. Saturday, March 17th. Over the course again in the AM and at YM Cinema during the PM. The airplanes were pretty lively and a, a lot of the anti-aircraft work was done. The day was beautiful. I took, I think that's the word, a truck around our little billet at night and had a good feed, wow, of fried potatoes, a good feed of fried potatoes. And they sure went down good. Sunday, March 18th, wrote letters in the morning, went to Mount St. Cloy in the afternoon to see a few of the old boys of the first signal base. Got back about 5.45 p.m., put the rest of the evening in around the billet. Prob good. Monday, March 19th, the weather was good and wet. Out doing signal for a short time in the morning and was ordered to come in to clean up in general for the afternoon parade. Over the plan of attack in the afternoon, at night we had a good feed of stew. Everything going along fine. Tuesday, March 20th. Done nothing in the morning but wrote letters. During the afternoon we were out on the chorus of attack and it sure was a rotten day. The strong wind and hail cut the face pretty bad and soaked us through. Wednesday, March 21st. Out over the course in the a.m. as usual. All up doing in the afternoon was to draw another pay of 15 francs. francs. The weather has been very good except for being a little cold. Nothing to do in the evening but to kill time around our billet playing cards.
Thursday, March 22nd. Weather very changeable all day. One minute snow, the next sun, the next sunshine. Lots of snow on the ground, and a person would think winter had just begun. Out over the course in the morning, and done buzzer, buzzer practice in the afternoon. A Fritz airplane came right over our heads on, on the afternoon parade, and we were to take cover along the road. Fritz was not so high as he usually is, but was high enough. Colonel Lecture. March 23rd. Weather remains dull, but no snow. Nothing to do in the morning. Had a little argument with the corporal. During the afternoon, I went down to Mount St. Cloy to see some chums. I saw Peter Lang, Feltmate, and Fraser. Got back to our billet about 7 p.m. After long, 7 p.m. after long walk. Had a couple of fried eggs and crawled under. The bill very bothersome. Hello? What you doing? March 24th. Left, left Grand Severns for Mount St. Cloy. Shortly after breakfast, arrived Mount St. Cloy just before dinner, and Fritz sure was giving us a few while we were eating our meal. And I sure saw a little, or rather a lot more excitement than what I wished for. Okay. I can't that aeroplane went over our heads as we were marching along the road, which it supposed was responsible for it. There was about 50 casualties during the day and I pretty near got mine. A price of a piece of shrapnel landed between my feet. We formed up out in the open and left at six thirty PM. For boo. This cat in plastic. Get away from there. Boo? Hang on. If there's plastic or tape, this cat finds it and eats it. I don't know. Yeah. Where was I? They sat in. Okay, open. 635. Okay, I was... It was a short trip as we are only in supports. The dugout is of an immense depth and electric lighted. It said that two coys of Ger two boys of Germans were gassed in it. It's down in chalk and is about eighty feet deep. Never think there was a war on when we are down in it. And it's more than warm, worse than a summer's night, is my description of it. It must have been horrible. March 25th. Done nothing in the morning outside of fixing up a bunk for myself. The artillery going some outside, but we cannot hear it being underground so far. Weather very good. 29th Battalion Sergeant killed near well and a couple of men wounded. 
March 26th. A very miserable day. Never done anything all day, but was out on fatigue work from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. I'd done more hard work than what I have done for a good while. Boo! A good while. Was working on top near the front line, and the flares going up around us were not at all pleased. Were not at all pleasant. March 27th. Stayed in the cave all day as it's sure the safest place. Went out on fatigue at 6 o'clock. And we sure made a move when they started to land shells just on the left of us. But it never lasts long. They put us on emptying bags on top. The weather was fairly decent most of the day. March 28th. Down underneath all day as usual. And out on fatigue work again at night. Fritz started up near us again and we soon got under cover believe me weather very good and therefore a good deal of air work was done <clears throat> march 29th weather miserable all day and i never saw much of it as i stayed down below all day long and all night got off fatigue as was not feeling very good. March 30th. Weather not so very bad. Moved up to the front line after supper, and she sure was good and kindly at night. But we were safe in the dugout. We are on the Minesville St. Bast? front. Sorry, I can't understand that. March 31st. Poor. Poor. Weather and Fritz sure did bombard our trenches to beat the band. And it sure was anything but pleasant. <clears throat> April 1st. Weather not so bad. Everything very quiet to what yesterday was. Taken off phone duty in the afternoon and have to do our little bit at fatigue. The evening was quiet, but we sure had a heavy job. April 2nd. The weather very good. Our airplanes kept active. Out on water fatigue in the morning, and I sure got some mm, I definitely can't make out that word scare maybe on the way back, yeah, I sure got some scare on the way back. A big shell or something shook the cave in the morning, and everybody wondered what was coming off on water fatigue again after supper and a short time after we got back there was a big excitement created somebody said Fritz was getting ready to make a charge at all at all passed over quickly though we are safe. The artillery sure was fierce for a while, though. It snowed. April 3rd. Weather good. On water fatigue once during the day and out on ration fatigue at night. Our artillery gave the Fritz a good a good lit of iron, a good bit of iron on the after, in the afternoon, and it sure come our way at night. 
but nobody hurt on our side as I know of. April 4th. Done nothing all day but to lay around cave to lay around the cave. We left the front line at about 8 p.m. for Mount St. Cloy. The evening was nice and up got hot tea at the YM when we got in. We are intense and the mud's sure plentiful. Heavy artillery pumped it into Fritz for a fair. April 5th. The weather very nice. I put the morning in at cleaning up. Picking the louts off by I can't understand that one. Sorry about that. Met Bill, and it was sure good to see him, to talk of our experiences since being in France. We are sleep. We are sleep. Okay. We are sleeping. Twelve. We are sleeping. Twelve a tent. And oh, what a muddy hole it is. April 6th. Rained a lot during the afternoon and night. It has made an awful mess of the roads and camps. I was with Bill all afternoon. Had a bath after supper, which was badly needed. I think I will stop there. Sounds like it was not pleasant at all. That's for sure. So, I hope you enjoyed. Got something out of that. Or interested in it, still. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to come back and leave comments. It's greatly appreciated. Do remember the thumbs up. And to those of you passing through, if you like the videos that you see, please do give them a thumbs up and comment. I do get back to them. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I hope everybody's had a good weekend. My Sunday has been very lazy at some points got laundry done got plants tended to halloween stuff away summer stuff finally away and just been chilling out with the fireplace channel on tv now listening to i believe it's the curse of oak island waiting for the new season to start tonight at 10 so everyone, have a marvelous Monday. Hopefully your week will be good. You'll get through it fine. And before you know it, the weekend will be here again. So until tomorrow night, and please do remember, tomorrow is the 11th day of the 11th month. At 11 o'clock, take those two minutes to remember those who didn't come back and to those families that had to deal with the grief and that still do have to deal with the grief. I thank all our forces members for doing the job that they do because I certainly couldn't. And for the families, forgiving of that time. I know it's hard on them too. So until tomorrow night and the last installment, ciao for now.